Okie doke. So, to do number 20, I am interested in a function L of x that has a domain of minus 12 to 12 and a range of 0 to 3. Do I know what this thing looks like at all? Not really. I do know there's a box that it lives in. Yeah. Right? So I might just look at this and think to myself, hey, L lives, which way is the, this one? Domain. It's the domain, right? Usually. So that's minus 12 to 12 there. Close dots on those. That's like the x's it lives over. What's the y's it lives in? Between zero and three. From zero to three. So someplace in this box is L, right? I don't really know what it does, but I do know that it lives in that box. You guys both feel that? I also know that it gets, it goes I don't know if it necessarily goes continuously from one end to the other, but I know at least everything in between minus 12 and 12 goes somewhere. And I know that everything between 0 and 3 gets covered. Like the easiest way to do that would be to just draw a line from this corner of the box to that corner of the box. Right? Uh, yeah. But of course, it could also look like this, or it could look like parts of that or other weirdness. So. Something weird could go on. I'm interested in what's the domain and range of L of 2x. So first, what am I changing here? The inputs. the inputs are changing. So what's the outputs going to do? They're going to be cut in half. They're going to be cut <laughs> No. What are the outputs doing? Oh, the outputs. They're doubling. Yeah. They're doing nothing. Yeah, nothing's happening to the outputs. You're not touching them. Yeah. Right? You're only changing the inputs. So the outputs are totally the same. Which one's the outputs? Yeah, that's the range, which is 0 to 3, right? So the range is... Range is the same. Yeah, the range stays the same. It's still 0 to 3, because you didn't mess with that. Okay, now about this, there's no justice in the world thing, and I'm multiplying x by 2. Yeah, I'm multiplying the x by 2, right? Which should be a horizontal stretch. Compression. It should be a stretch, right? But there's no justice, and it's in x land, so that's a compress. compress. So what happens when you compress negative 12 to 12 by 2? Get negative, negative, negative 6, 6 to 6. Get negative 6 to 6. You know what? I'm going to throw away my method. <laughs> Wait, why do they even... Why even like call it something? It's just something else every time. <laughs> why even? Oh. Why even, like why would you make a name that's inherently backwards? Yeah. Why? Like, why don't you just call it? I didn't name? make a name that was backwards. So I never told you. A, I never told you a name for those, right? It's just that what I think should happen should be like that something should get multiplied by two, right? Like, that should be a stretching. Like, multiplying by 2 is makes things bigger, right? But why isn't it? Why it isn't that is because you're feeding this thing into the function. But why didn't we just call it compression in the first place, then? Because in y land, it's a stretch. Right? When you multiply by a number bigger than 1 after the rule, you get a stretch. When it's before the rule, then it's a compression. It's going to feel backwards no matter which way I picked it, right? Like, if I pick justice in x land, then y lands backwards. <laughs> it happens that more shifting, like the more common rules for shifting are afterwards, like post-composition is usually more interesting. So that, that kind of y land changes to the ones we used because we do that more in engineering, kind of. All right. So, so wait, so just to clarify, so you, I've been cutting, so when I'm changing my inputs and cutting my domain in half, is that because, like, it makes, so, it makes sense because if I put in something for the x, I want to be able to ultimately have the domain of negative 12 and 12. Yeah. So if I put it in negative, if I put in 6, so then I'll get 12. So yeah. That makes sense. So you could think about this the uh, another way, which is when you multiply here, the x is by 2, right? 
you're burning through your X's twice as fast. Right. You guys see that? Yeah. So things are going to happen quicker on a shorter time scale. Right. So here, I might think about if I'm putting in one half X so half is into L, half is I'm burning my X's half as fast. So what's the domain going to be there? Negative 24 to 24. Perfect. So your domain is going to be negative 24 to 24. And what about the range? Uh, yeah, we didn't change anything about the y's, right? I didn't do anything after L, so I'm still going to get 0 to 3. Guys, what's that? What's up? Yeah, uh, maybe number 15 next. Sure. Any questions on this one? No? 